hello guys and welcome to the channel if you're new to the channel please consider watching all the videos and learn something new or something that you haven't heard before so in today's episode i'm actually going to talk about the ideal market mega cycle the traps that is actually associated with it how banks are actually manipulating price and how these pullbacks and some kind of setup sweats so if you are interested please make sure you hit the subscribe button comment like and share after the episode so right now what you see on the screen is it's i don't know i don't know what you actually call it, or what you actually call it right on the left here we have got an ideal market maker cycle right so an ideal cycle is actually made up of three levels right you know in, in most cases things in life are actually made up of threes right and this is the ideal market mega cycle which is actually made up of level one which is this push up there level two which is this push up there then level three which is this push right so what what you what you're seeing on the left side here is what happens on a bigger time frame right and what you are seeing on the right here is the correspondence of what actually happens on a smaller time frame because if you are a btmm trader remember when you have got three levels on a smaller time frame it definitely means that you've got one level on a bigger time frame which also means that one level on the d1 is actually three levels on h4 one level on h4 is three levels on m h1 then one one level on h1 is three levels on m15 one level on m15 is three levels on m5 okay so it's it's all about the corresponding time frames which means we talk about m1 m5 m15 h1 h4 d1 and month one right those are like the main time frames that we talk about and please not please not please not this i said this is ideal which means that sometimes in the market you won't be getting something like this but you'll be getting something that's actually nearer to it so for us to, for us to determine what the level is you must have swing points right so here we've got this swing point swing point swing point swing point so suppose we are on a time frame right we look at this next swing point right and if it's broken by this move from a peak it means that we now have a level then we have got this pullback so we left this swing point then if we push above that swing point it definitely means that we have something like a level right so this is how you are going to find out about this level so right now i'm going to explain what happens with this level here so i'm going to talk about level one from the peak right so which is this point up to here right remember the market does not move in a straight line right and okay on on this point you have to understand that on a bigger time frame you may see that is one candle that moves like psh. then on smaller time frames if you go to smaller time frame of that one candle you may see some sort of consolidative moves or a small x this is what will be happening on a smaller time frame so okay supposedly we have this move on a bigger time frame right and we want to talk about these three levels up to here right Remember, we said one level on a bigger time frame is three levels in a smaller time frame. Okay, so these smaller movements are actually made up of trade moves, right? Remember, the dealer's objective is to trade people and to induce them to, 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 to be irrational and, you know, enter the market. So, as you can see right here, we, we that the mechanism, the mechanism of trapping and inducing people was created here. Here it was also created. Then we created something like a peak reset here. We'll definitely talk about the pieces on new and exciting you know <laughs> episodes to come so i'll shift to the to the rule chart and explain everything right but for now let's understand what happens on virtually right so you can actually see that we had our our trade mechanism here which is the market maker objective and stuff right so he pushed back here to create something like a w but in most cases you won't be showing something like like clear this one you consolidate consolidate then may move down here a bit to trade people i'll create an episode on this one because this is very serious he is actually doing this in most cases oh okay so right now let me move to a root chart and explain what i was saying about level counting and stuff so forget about what i said on you know traps and stuff right let's go to a root chart so as you can see right now we have got a gbp jpy h4 time frame right and I want to talk about this kind of thing right so as you can see with your naked eyes you can actually see right we are on our peak formation low here right and a level is determined by you know that push above a swing point we had our swing point here this one here was our swing point right and if you can check closely this move here broke 
that swing point right to create these consolidative moves and stuff right so we are taking that to be a level so i want so let me let me do something good here let me mark out my level right and i want to explain this, this market fractalization concept okay so i've marked out my levels my level one on h4 so right now i'm actually shifting to the h1 time frame to show you these three levels right so this is something like my h1 time frame and the zone that i had marked out is from here up to there right okay, let me shift a bit so as you can see here we had that kind of a, an m that he had something like a smaller leg first leg which is the smaller first leg then a longer second leg this is actually a trade move we'll talk about that later so as you can see from okay sorry about that from our peak formation up to here right we broke this you know this was this was our pre previous swing point right we actually broke it and we are how we are counting this one as a level then we had crazy consolidative moves right here this is still in the same zone we we'll explain more on that this move we are, i know some of you are saying hey it broke what 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 but this is still in the same zone then we had the push right here which broke this swing point because once we we were on our level one the market actually created another swing point which was broken by this move up to here then we had a small consolidation up to this point then broke it again so we had our level one please remember okay there's nothing to remember here only that you have to make money so this is our level one let me do this this is probably our level two this is our level three right so you can actually see that within one move on the h4 time frame we had three small moves on a corresponding lower time frame which is the h1 so if you can take a look at the h4 here you can actually see that we had this one move here but on a smaller time frame which is the h1 time frame we had three corresponding small movements so guys i hope you like what i've shared right now i will do more episodes and trips and everything that actually happens in the market thank you for watching thank you for liking my videos thank you i don't take your appreciation for granted i love you guys